Hi, it's Maria Brito. I'm with Remax Realty Specialists. For many of you who know my YouTube channel, it's You Gotta Move Here. Today I'm here with Thornton McDonald, who owns uh, Bistro Riviera, right in downtown Erin. So what I usually do is if I have listings in the vicinity, and which I do, and Thornton tells me his parents live on First Line and he grew up there, I have a beautiful listing on First Line, on Second Line, and on Third Line in the town of Erin. So you, you, you will have to watch for this uh, or go on to realtor.ca to be able to look for those listings under my name, mariabrito.com. So today I'm here with Thornton McDonald, Chef Thornton. Uh, and so uh, he has a very interesting history. So Thornton, tell us why you chose Erin. Uh, well, I grew up here um, out on First Line when I was uh, 16. And I uh, got a job at the Millcroft Inn as a dishwasher. Uh, saw what the guys were doing on the line and uh, they were loving it and enjoying it. And I thought, well, I'll give this a shot. And I haven't looked back. I uh, moved down to the city about when I was about 20 years old and uh, worked all around the downtown area and surrounding. I uh, worked under some great chefs and then uh, my parents kept telling me you've got to come back to Aaron, you've got to bring this talent back to Aaron and that's what I did. Which is great and, and you know I have the pleasure of working with you on our, on our big festivities for, for March for St. Paddy's Day mm -hmm. and uh, there's some interesting uh, you know events going on and there's live music and there's great food and I believe Absolutely. you've got some, some specialty items that will be on for that day but I understand that you're a very talented chef so what are your specialties? I do it all. I try to uh, dabble into everything. I mean, I, I love Thai food. Um, my wife's Italian, so I do a lot of Italian food. Uh, basically, what I call it fusion, so I do a little bit of everything. Wonderful. And fusion seems to be the in thing, right? It's, it's, it gives people a variation. On, it, it gives them on a different uh, variety of things to, to enjoy. I mean, as of right now, we're doing beef uh, ramen, which, I yes. mean, the, you can't go anywhere outside of Toronto and find beef ramen, but you can come to Aaron and find it, right? <laughs> Well, that's right. So you bring Thai, uh, well, no, Indonesia. In, yes, exactly. Indonesia yep. to Erin, which is wonderful. And I, I'm a real big lover of ramen. I, oh, I love the spot. Do you put the heat into it as well? Oh, of course, of course. Which is great. Yep. And I know now that you also have a lovely um, a patio outside overlooking the, the, the river in behind. Yeah, it's very secluded. Um, it's it, You feel like you're sitting in your backyard. Okay. That's very true. Yeah. And, and the trees and, and the trees. And the you get the beautiful river. Behind. You've got the yes. beautiful river that uh, flows around our town. And you sit back there. It's really relaxing. Yeah, and hopefully the town will will really embark on on enhancing that river because any city that I've been to that have a river through it are very successful. Yes. When they capitalize on that. Water. On that water. Where there's water, there's success, right? That's right. Yeah. Um, so this is this is great. Have you got any any big plans for for the restaurant for the spring? Well, we do live music every uh, weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We do live music out on our patio, which has always been a big success. Uh, always local talent. Yes. Um, you know, we also offer a lot of local um, beers. So oh, we have good. beers from Alora, um, uh, Barry, uh, Van Cleek, Royal Cities out of Guelph. Yep, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, um, you know, we try and advertise local. Another big thing for me is that, you know, when you go to the city, they say, you know, they're, they're, they're buying within 100 kilometers. Well, right. I don't have to go 100 kilometers. All I have to do is reach my hand out. Right and it's right there yeah. for me. My husband's a big beer lover, and uh, his name is Frank, and my name is Maria, and I keep threatening to buy f and Brewery. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be wonderful. I, I would love to open a microbrewery. I'd, I'd love yeah. to be a female in, in, in the beer industry. That'd be great, be great. yeah. Absolutely. I was just telling Chef uh, Pam uh, at The Friendly Chef that having returned from uh, Chile, I, as of April, I will be a certified sommelier. That's right, I remember you saying yes, that. Yes, giving me something to do in my retirement. Yeah, but, tasting uh, wine. That's, that's a great retirement. It's, it's, yeah. do it. it's, a, it's a great way out of menopause, I must right. say. <laughs> <laughs> However, it, uh, thank you for, for seeing us today. I know your day's going to be busy, and uh, I'll leave you before your lunch hour. Thank you. Um, but, uh, you know, I encourage my clients, uh, because what I do is when they sell their homes, I give them a, uh, a gift certificate for your restaurant, so that encourages them to come downtown locally. Well, and they've, and they've, they've got to move here. I mean, my mom told me to get back here when I moved out, and uh, I'm back. I moved back to town. I love so. your mom. Love your mom. I think I should hire your mom as my, yeah, my marketing agent. Yeah. So what, what advice would you give my clients that are thinking of, you know, to encourage them to bring them down here? This is a great town. It's very, it's very supportive. It's very uh, uh, local, warming. You still get the beautiful restaurant of a downtown, but you don't have to go downtown. That's right. You just got to come downtown here. That's right. And, and, and you have to say? You got to move here. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Sergeant. Such a pleasure. Thanks.